I'm with Nachi Chukalingam. He is Professor of Clinical Biomechanics at the University, one of my colleagues, and I suppose the first question I'm going to ask him is, what is biomechanics? Thanks, Cash. Biomechanics um, is applications of mechanics, uh, or mechanical engineering, to understand biological system. In our case, we use Newtonian mechanics, that's Newton's laws based mm. physics, to understand musculoskeletal system or the human body. Particularly in sports, presumably. Particularly in sports situations. Yeah. We also work on clinical and rehabilitation sites, but okay. mainly here we focus on sport and sport-related studies. Now, I know your main interest is feet, so that's tell right. us about that. Um, uh, yeah, I've been working on uh, foot and footwear biomechanics um, for many years now, uh, and our interest is, um, as you know, footwear plays an important role yeah. in injury prevention and also performance enhancement. Yeah. Here at Staffordshire, we tend to concentrate more on um, injury prevention and support for athletes mm -hmm. rather than performance enhancement. Because uh, there's a lot of dispute in the media at the moment about whether footballers in particular choose style and look and appearance over stability, support and protection, which is why there are so many injuries. Oh, I'm saying it's a question. Uh, is that the reason why there's so well, many Well, um, you could say it either way because uh, footwear has evolved as we've evolved. Uh, from the wool leather upper solid boots now to really lightweight uh, man-made material type yeah. of boots. So that's obviously um, there is a cost benefit analysis that yeah. we need to look at and which has contributed to some aspects of injury. Yeah. And uh, recently we have completed a big um, study looking at the buying habits of footwear okay. amongst uh, first and second year university students right. and we have had some interesting results. Which are? Uh, it, Students tend to buy their footwear, footwear choices made on color rather not than brand. any, not brand, not performance. Color came up at the top, then came the brand, then came uh, the uh, performance. So yeah. people are not looking for performance, yeah. they're looking for color, for color. particularly with the university students. So I'm not going to let you go without one more question. And this uh, concerns uh, the idea that we have tended over the years to overrate the impact of what sports footwear mm -hmm. uh, has on our overall performance. And uh, I, I, I read recently some research suggests that running barefoot, for example, is actually better for us in evolutionary terms, so to speak, than um, wearing shoes. What sense can we make of that? Yeah, that's right. There's been um, well, quite a bit of research and quite a bit of banter, uh, yeah. particularly in the media, about yeah. um, barefoot running and barefoot walking, yeah. uh, based on a couple of books and some research yeah. out of the uh, United States. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think, um, yes, barefoot walking might be useful, but we are not walking in woods or in sand. We tend no. to walk on tarmac roads and concrete yeah, surfaces. Yeah. So there should be and some element. Yeah, that's right. Yes, there should be some element of protection for the feet. Yeah. And in that sense, obviously, one needs to look at that research carefully and then see if barefoot running is useful for us in terms of running on concrete roads and tarmac roads. We'll bear it in mind. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>